What's going on guys, DigiDestin here, and I'm back with another pickup video. Just another week of, of things that I found and that my fiance found and uh, things that I thought were cool enough to share with you. And uh, so this week's been super busy, but otherwise we were able to find some time uh, to go out to the stores and, and see what we could pick up. Uh, first thing, uh, it's not too interesting actually, is an online buy. I, I went on eBay for this. Just a standard Xbox One controller. This one's actually broken. I, I ordered it for parts. Uh, it was five dollars, which isn't bad. It actually, looks like something exploded in there. Um, but what happened was when I got my Xbox One originally, the left trigger, as you, if you can hear that, it's got a nice like, uh, you know, a thud sound. But mine, uh, my controller that came with my system originally. Uh, didn't have that rubber padding on the inside so when you pushed it down it clicked and uh, for that reason it didn't register on the board either and I couldn't use the left trigger so I found myself playing Tomb Raider trying to do left and right trigger and it didn't work so I found this on eBay for about five dollars um, you know it doesn't work obviously but hopefully I can use the parts in this to fix my current controller and so I can play some of the games uh, on Xbox One so yeah on eBay um, next thing, uh, another retail buy, uh, this actually came out this week and, uh, it's a little late for Halloween, which I, I thought would be perfect if they released it on Halloween, but it is, uh, an Amiibo. So I haven't been collecting Amiibo in a long time, uh, but this was one of the ones that I had to get just cause of it, it had a, a little novel aspect to it and compared to all the other, uh, Amiibos and, um, just seemed like something cool to add to my collection. And so it is the Boo Amiibo. So it's in the, the Super Mario series, the Mario Party series. And this one you can use for your Mario Party uh, game. And uh, aside from the standard Mario Party, Super Mario uh, series of Amiibo, uh, this is traditionally white and, and colored with like red or blue. But this one's black. And what's cool about this is it actually glows in the dark. So if you can see that on the packaging there. It says glows in the dark. So I got this one off of Amazon. Um, I believe Amazon gives you like a small discount for new video game items and, and pre-orders. So I got that. Um, I actually have a second one here, and uh, I put took that out of the box. Show that to you up close. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Um, but still very cool, very cool to have. I haven't tried it in the dark yet, um, so I'm just gonna wait for it to charge. It's one of those old school glow in the dark things where it has to charge up in light first um, before it, it can actually glow. Next uh, retail buy, there's just a bunch of retail buys this week. It was from Toys R Us. Uh, they were having a great sale. It's, it was buy one, get one 40% off all games. And there was one game that I was looking to get on that I was hoping to get for a cheaper price and uh, you know the sale just kind of tipped me over the fence I had to get it <clears throat> it was Paper Mario Color Splash so I've been hearing good good things about this game uh, I'm a huge fan of the Paper Mario uh, franchise I haven't played Sticker Star but I've played through the original on N64 and um, the Thousand Year Door on GameCube but I really enjoyed those games, and hopefully uh, this one is uh, holds up just as well. I think the last game that they had on console for Paper Mario was Super Paper Mario, but that wasn't an RPG, um, like in the traditional Paper Mario, uh, I guess, format. Anyway, I'm super excited to, to you know, get my hands on this and, and hopefully play it uh, once I find some more time, maybe during Thanksgiving or uh, you know during the break, and that way, you know. I can start using my Wii U a little bit more instead of playing all my retro stuff. Uh, <clears throat> I mentioned before that Toys R Us was having buy one get one 40% off. I, I had some trouble finding another game that I really wanted to to get for that 40% off. Um, so I figured instead I would actually just pick up another copy of Super Mario Maker. So this is an awesome game if you haven't played it. Um, it allows you to create uh, Mario levels using four different styles so uh, in the classic 
if I look on the back here, Super Mario, Super Mario Bros, then we have Super Mario Bros 3, uh, Super Mario Bros Wii U, and Super Mario World. They got a lot of different features, a lot of different enemies, a lot of different uh, things you can do just to create your own level. You can also play other people's levels, which is great. I've even played a level by uh, Koji Igarashi. Uh, and if you don't know who that is, that's the creator of Castlevania. He made a level that's completely uh, a mirror image of the first level on Castlevania, but using only Mario enemies and uh, you know platforms and, and items. So that's very cool. Um, this is a, an awesome game to, to play if you haven't played it. I would highly recommend it. Um, but since this one is a duplicate, I'll probably end up either you know selling it or trading it. Uh, maybe I might do a giveaway. I don't know. Uh, which would be cool but yeah I figured uh, for 40% off uh, you know one of these games it's uh, not a bad deal especially since this one just came out not too long ago okay so the next thing uh, is not so much a retail fine it's a half price books fine um, since they closed a little bit later you know we were able to stop by after work and uh, we were able to find a couple things uh, which was nice so the first one is F-Zero Maximum Velocity for uh, Game Boy Advance. It's not a bad label, but it was uh, $4.99, which is not a bad price for it. Uh, I don't have this one yet, so this one's going into my collection. And the next one is uh, a little bit more surprising. It was Lufia The Legend Returns for Game Boy Color, complete in the box. Also in very good shape. Uh, it was $35, which is not too bad. Uh, you know, I, I spent $10 less than I would have trying to get this on eBay or anything. Um, but if I do open it up here, it's got all the contents. It's completely complete. Um, you know, it's got this uh, instru uh, precautions booklet. It's got the Natsume uh, registration card for the game, as well as the manual. Um, it's got this uh, subscription card for Game Boy and Nintendo Power. And then of course the cardboard insert and the game in the in the plastic bag. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to have this. This is the, the third game in the series. Uh, the first one being uh, Lufia and the For uh, Fortress of Doom. And the second one being uh, Lufia 2. And the rise of the Sinestrals. All right, so another cool pickup that uh, my fiance and I found at a store was uh, actually at a local game store. Um, we were in the area one of the days, and and we decided to stop in to see if I could use any of my store credit uh, on anything. And we didn't find any games, but we did find this thing, which was pretty cool. It is uh, a Star Fox participation pin. So as you can see, it says April 30th through May uh, 2nd, 1993, and I believe that was for the Star Fox competition cart uh, event. So this was a, a participation pin that uh, people would get when they went to the event and played Star Fox. All right, so the very last thing that we got um, was actually a trade made by my fiance over Instagram with this... Uh, very cool guy his name is or his account name is vandals games vandals gaming and vandals claim sale and so um he had these these very cool keychains uh that you know we we kind of had to have we we're debating whether or not we really wanted them but uh they were just kind of way too cool to pass up and uh we happened to dm him we messaged him and said uh you know we we asked him how much he wanted for them and uh, we actually settled upon a trade. So it's actually a set of five. They're from Japan and they're officially licensed by Nintendo. Uh, first one here, it is a Famicom. And then uh, it's actually a two part keychain here. So you got the Famicom here. And the second part, you actually have the Famicom controller up there. A normal Famicom with the controllers plugged in the sides. We have the, the family basic keyboard. 
we have the, the Famicom Rob. And it's in the plastic, so it's kind of hard to see. But it also has the, the Famicom cart for Rob. And gyro, I believe, which is pretty cool. And my personal favorite, <clears throat> it is the Sharp Famicom Twin. So let's see if I can't get that to focus there. So they're, they're fairly detailed. Um, there's a little bit of like, you know, stuff on the wrapper, but it's not too bad. And again, you have the companion uh, controller right there with it. So it's got the buttons on it as well. Yeah, so there's uh, five keychains, uh, all based off the family uh, Famicom family. So those there. I traded Vandal's games. Uh, you know, some a Nintendo 64 console box as well as GoldenEye box and Diddy Kong box, um, and a Super Mario 64 guide plus cash for these. Uh, these go for about you know 20 to 30 dollars on eBay a piece, and so I figured you know these are these are really cool little pieces of uh, Nintendo's history, uh, pretty cool pieces of memorabilia to have. Uh, for my collection plus they don't take up that much space so i figured it was a decent deal to to work out the trade or, or have my fiance work out the trade for me um so i'm really appreciative for her and uh, him for you know doing this deal um I'll, I'll leave a link to his his profile in the description below he's a very cool guy he's got lots of great stuff you should check him out also some big news Next week is the release of the NES Classic Edition, the mini NES from Nintendo. Uh, if you haven't heard of it, or if you haven't seen any of the, the articles, um, you know, online or, or Reddit or um, some any any sort of uh, electronics blog, it's a console that's going to be released by Nintendo. It's going to be about be about this big, and it's, it's going to be styled like the original NES, and uh, it's not going to have the cartridges or anything but it's gonna have a flash based memory I believe uh, and a, a little motherboard kind of like a Raspberry Pi that allows you to play 30 preloaded uh, NES games on it so it's gonna have games like Balloon Fight, uh, Super C, the three original Super Mario Bros, um, Bob Bubble Bobble, um, Mega Man 2 so it's got uh, Castlevania my, my personal favorite it's got tons of great games on it and it's going to be retailed for 60 bucks so 59.99 and uh, next week that's coming out I'm going to be waiting in line for it uh, you know at all the the major retailers they're going to have it like Target they're going to have it uh, Toys R Us I'm pretty sure they might have it um, at Fred Meyer and so on and so forth but it's going to be limited edition uh, and, and uh, the new hot ticket item for this holiday season especially for those people who are just looking to play NES games casually without having to collect anything. So um, yeah, this next week on Friday, 11-11, it's coming out. Uh, I would highly suggest checking out your stores if you want to if you want to pick one up. I'm going to be waiting in line. Um, what's also very cool is it comes with an NES controller. Uh, it's going to be exactly like the original one, but the, the input plug is going to be just like the end of a Wii remote. And that way you can actually use it with your current Wii remotes on your Wii U or your Wii uh, for your virtual console games. So if you purchased any NES games on uh, the virtual console, you can use this controller to play those games, uh, which is cool. But anyway, uh, you know, I'll... That retails for $10. The the controller retails for ten dollars, so that's a steal. That's even better than some thrift stores have like original NES controllers for. But anyway, that's the big news for this week. Um, you know, I had a lot of great pickups. Uh, I'm gonna definitely keep my eye out for the mini NES. Hopefully, I can get my hands on one. And if I do, you'll see it in my next pickup video. But anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.